Okay guys, I have a 2012 Chrysler Town & Country. Um, I just replaced this track down here because I had a customer, their door wouldn't open or shut automatically. You'd have to do it manually. And I'm gonna show you what I did really quick and how to troubleshoot this, just so you have an idea on what to look for. I'll just show you. Okay, if you click your button to close it and it doesn't close, it just makes ticky noises and stuff like that. You probably have an issue with the track um, or the motor itself. Also, if it closes but stays open right here, so it doesn't shut all the way, the issue you're going to have is the latch. Um, this piece right here. So you're going to want to have to get a replacement latch on that. Um, if you if you click the buttons and it makes no noise at all and does nothing, you either have a wiring issue right here, uh, issue to the motor, which is behind this track part, um, or an issue with your buttons. So you can check that out by pressing the other one, which is up here and uh, see if that is the button. Now, in order to take all of this out, you wanna remove um, this panel piece right here, this panel piece right here, um, this cover, this pillar right here, and then there's a 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. There's a 10 millimeter right here that I've already taken out. There is a 10 millimeter right there. Right there that you need to remove. And then a 30 torque bit that you need to remove here. These two are 10 millimeters. You may want to remove that just to make it easier. And then a 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter right there. And then right there, there's a 10 millimeter. And then obviously you're gonna disconnect right here. Um, disconnect right here, this blue one. Disconnect right here. And you should be able to just pull this out. You may have to pull this up to about right here to get it out easier. Um, I also removed this little sensor down here. And I believe it is a 20 torque bit screw just to make it easier to remove this. Um, I'm going to link a lot of the parts in the description so you can get them a lot cheaper. But for me, I got this used one in a junkyard for 40 bucks. So the whole fix only costs $40. I know at the dealership, it's going to cost about uh, $700 to $1,200 to replace this. So it is pretty expensive and you can save a lot of money. Um, just make sure, give it a visual inspection before you do anything to it. Because for me, for this one... This piece right here was broken off and jamming it. And then when I took it apart inside the motor, um, this string right here, this line was stuck in there. So that's what the problem was. And when you tried to open it, it would just make clicking noises and wouldn't do anything. So you had to do it manually. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But hopefully this video helps you figure out what is wrong with your uh, sliding door.